a part of that I thought was kind of interesting, though, was all the talk about Daniel Jones. There's a lot of talk about Daniel Jones, guys. And we talked about it all offseason. We're like, okay, is the organization really serious about Daniel Jones? Are they determined to give him a sh- another shot? I got to say, the way I read this whole thing and what was shown, again, this is what was shown. This is what the Giants wanted us to see. This is what the NFL wanted us to see. We'll be very clear on that. We are under no illusion we got to see everything that they what they really think. That'd be stupidity to think that. <laughs> but yes. But the message they want to convey is Daniel Jones is still a question mark. In fact, the show called him a forty million dollar question mark, which is a really expensive question mark, guys. That's a lot of that's a lot of money for a question mark. I'm just saying the, um, the cat. They talked about the fact that he's injury prone. You know, they said, you know, Joe Shane basically saying that you can't ignore it, that you need a contingency plan. Uh, you know, they did a nice little montage of him working out. There's a lot of montages I felt like in the in this in the show. Yeah. But it was like a montage without the it's '80s like the music. America. Like there yeah. wasn't the fun '80s music. Montage. Here montage. he is fighting back to get back on the field. <laughs> like, the, Gotta like have a montage. <laughs> I think that's what I I wanted to see it. It would be great. Look at him bend that knee. <laughs> like, yeah. like it would be awesome. Oh. But <laughs> look at him stretch that. Yeah. Like, out. like they didn't do any of that. That'd been fun. Like do a little '80s montage. Go for it. If you're gonna keep showing montage <laughs> scenes, just go for it. But um, they showed all that. You see the nice, nasty, lovely scar on his knee at that point from the surgery and stuff like that. Um, but it was pretty obvious Joe Shane was not willing to give up on Daniel Jones, and they made it a point to say we need to allocate towards helping him because he is a question mark. He really is. They they, they don't seem to know what to think of him, which is kind of scary. But you can tell they want to give him every chance. They like him. That's pretty obvious by the way they talk about him. And that's what they did this offseason, guys. They get him a top flight receiver. They spent the money on offensive line. Whether they fixed it or not, we'll find out. But at least to be a lot better than it was last year. You know, they went ahead and did what they could to give things around him, you know? I mean, obviously, they lost Saquon, which hurts, but they when they got Devin Singletary, he's not a bad uh, running back in this league. So, no. yeah, if you wondered if the Giants are sold on Daniel Jones, the answer is no. But if you're wondering if they're going to give him every chance to prove that he deserves staying in this team past this year, that answer is yes. And I think that's probably the fairest Correct. way of putting it. Ferris play. Yeah, you're right. They, they, they're, they're not committed same, in the long term. They're committed in the short term. They're pretty much in the same situation when they paid him. Isn't it sad that I feel like this is like Sam Darnold and the Jets all over again? Except longer. Yeah. That's what it Almost. feels like. That's what it feels like. You know, maybe we could have included Daniel Jones to the Panthers. They like those kind of quarterbacks. <laughs> Ooh. I right, see, see, awesome. didn't think about it, didn't think about it. I'm just saying, no, in all, all fairness, we need Daniel Jones. He is the best quarterback we have in the roster. I know no one likes to hear it, but it's the truth. Um, I like the fact that they're doing what they got to do to give him a shot to win this year because if he's who you're going to go with, give him a chance to win, give him every opportunity because then you know if he goes somewhere else that you gave him every shot. There's no worry about, oh my God, it's going to go to blank and succeed. Because that's a legit concern, guys. Like, do you think that right now there's teams not kicking themselves in the butt for the way Baker Mayfield played last year? Of course 100%. There of course there is. Do you think there's not teams that kick themselves in the butt for the way Geno Smith played a couple of years ago? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> like, the, he was a backup on a lot of teams. Yeah. Never gave him the shot. Exactly. How many teams do you yeah, think are... Or- or- how, how much do you think the Rams, and I granted they won the Super Bowl, how much do you think they might be wishing they maybe had held on to Goff, who's obviously much younger than Matt Stafford? And, you know, could have gotten cheaper. I'm just saying, like, they don't want to have that, I don't want to say buyer's remorse, but that seller's remorse is what it seems like. But, I mean, they also made the point at the end of the episode, it's, uh, you gotta know when to hold them. You gotta know when to fold them. You get it? Just like gambling. No you to walk know. away. No when to run. You're doing Kenny Rogers. I'm on to you. That was that was on Kenny Rogers, <laughs> not a hard knocks. Yeah. 
We better count. No, but they said at the beginning, it's, the it's like, I mean, what's got with me? It's a, a lot like doing stocks. Like, you, you got to know when to buy and when to sell. Yep. Oh, it is. And so, that's a lot like, of what football is. That's a lot of what football is as far as Italian valuations and roster building. Yeah. It really is. So you, you get rid of someone now that are high end quality and, and they may be good for another year, but instead of you paying for a three or four year contract, you get, you lose one good year out of the person and then they have two to three bad years after that. Yeah. Yeah. So like, like I, get, that's then that's a win of getting rid of that person. Like a guy we're going to talk about a little bit, I think is that mortality, but <clears throat> Thanks for listening to Two Giant Goofballs, a New York Giants podcast. We appreciate your support. Thanks so much.